California has been besieged by fire this year. Nearly two and a half million acres had burned in the U.S. state by early November. That's nearly double the average over the past five years. Our climate editor, Justin Rolat, has been to the wreckage of a gold rush era town burnt to the ground in September by this year's biggest fire. Nicole Farris's home was utterly destroyed by the Dixie fire. We found peace and joy every day in our heart being here. And I want to come home. But I want to come home to the day before the fire. This was supposed to be Nicole and her husband Paul's forever home. It took all the color out of my life. Look at everything is just a shade of gray. <laughs> Years of climate-induced droughts have left vegetation tinder dry. Add in a policy of suppressing small fires which allowed dead wood to build up and fires are now faster and hotter than ever before. On August the 4th, Nicole got a text from the sheriff saying everyone still in town was in imminent danger. A friend said, it's coming, it's just, it's running down the road towards you, get out now. We grabbed the dogs and we grabbed our suitcases and we got in the truck and we left. Fire consumed the entire town in just two hours. And the mightiest trees are burning too. The world's last remaining giant sequoias are under threat. Largest individual organism in the world. They are amazing. They sequester gigatons of tar carbon every year. So let me try and give you an idea of just how enormous this tree is. These trees are ancient, up to 3,000 years old, but there are just 70 groves left, all in this mountain range. So look at that, 31 metres. Wow. They are vulnerable, but they are also very resilient. So they're picky. They are the Goldilocks of the forest, but they survive fire, they survive drought, they live for thousands of years. This is good, low verity fire in here. The flames came within a quarter of a mile of the biggest tree. Others weren't so lucky. We're the first journalists who've been invited into this sequoia grove since fire ripped through here in September. Some trees have been totally incinerated. This is terrible. This is the worst thing I've seen all year. Before 2015, no one saw a sequoia that looked like this. Um, it's emotionally heartbreaking, you know. You never saw a tree torch like this become a candle and burn up in this way before climate change and fire suppression. There's nothing I can do about, about these trees. They're gone and we will plant new ones, but it takes a thousand years. And they won't be this for hundreds of years. No, they won't years. be this for a long, long time. But it isn't too late, says Christy. Not yet. Climate change is here now, and it is killing things that we care about that should not be dying. Bringing climate change under control is what the conference in Glasgow is all about. The lesson from California is that the world needs more than just long-term promises from governments. It needs practical action now. Justin Rolat, BBC News, the Sierra Nevada Mountains.